The following is a presentation of the Missouri Sports Network. Hey, welcome back into the Missouri Sports Network here on High School Game Day, MissouriSportsNetwork.com, where everyone has a home field advantage. And as always, presented by Central Bank of the Ozarks, Lyuna Labor's Local 663, Building Missouri, and Building Missouri State, who also reminds us to be extra careful in work zones. Those folks want to go home as well. Also coming to you live from the Pizza Ranch studio, and we welcome in Smithville Warriors head Head baseball coach, Josh Spear. Coach Spear, thanks so much for your time today. Hey, thank you guys for having me. Coach, uh, 23-10 and 10 on the season. Uh, talk a little bit about this season and and who are some of the guys stepping up, you know, maybe replacing some things you lost off of a, of a good team a year ago. Yeah, um, like I said, we're 23-10. and 10. Um, Just finished the regular season last week. We started off the season, we struggled early on. Um we lost a lot of close ball games. I think there was one week where we got walked off three different times in one week. Um, we, we had to learn a lot about ourselves early with a pretty difficult schedule, playing a lot of class six schools and just a lot of really good baseball teams. Um, over the past month and a half or so, I think we've won our last 16 of 18, last 12 of 13 around there. So we're playing pretty good baseball right now. Um, we hit a breaking point around that time in the middle of the year where we started um, to figure ourselves out where we walked off a really good baseball team with Blue Springs and felt like that was kind of a turning point for us in the year um, to be able to beat a good quality team like that, um, especially a team that had walked us off um, a month prior to that. Um, we have 10 seniors right now, a very good senior class that are that are really leading us um, and we, we wouldn't be where we're at without those 10 guys. Um, four or five of them have been three-year starters for us. Um, and I just feel like they're a really solid group. They're a really good group of leaders um, and really good baseball players that have kind of really carried us um, through the year. Coach, I, you know, I noticed that in your schedule, too, where you want to stretch there where you lost six of seven. And then here, like you said, you've won 12 of your last 13. You talk about that Blue Springs game, you know, maybe about a week earlier. You, you got a, a good, a very good Rogersville team. Uh, you, you beat, uh, you know, a Rogersville group that's got three D1 kids, you know, that they can put on the mound. You know, you talk about that Blue Springs kind of being that turning point. Was there any other situation? Did you get healthy at a position? What What do you feel like really was kind of that turning point at that Blue Springs game? Was it just maturity or, or getting healthy? Yeah, um, like I said, with, with, with 10 seniors having a lot of guys, uh, we, we – we were figuring our lineup out. We were shifting things around, figuring out who fits where best. Um, we had to move a couple guys, a couple positions, um, maybe from the year previous, um, just figuring out our best nine guys to get in our lineup. Um, and I think it just took us a little bit longer than what it normally does. Um, with that, you talk about the Logan Rogersville again. That was, a, I, I felt like that, that was probably other than the Blue Springs game, a big turning point for us. Um, that Friday before we played down in Branson, um, where we got walked off by a St. Thomas Aquinas team, um, who's one of the top teams in Kansas, and also Branson, um, back-to-back games on that Friday. And then we went back to the hotel that night um, and spent some time as a team just talking about ourselves, where we're at as a team, where we want to go, and how we want to get there um, in the hotel room. And I felt like that was a good point for us. And then the next morning we wake up, and it's blistering cold down in Logan Rogersville. Um, they just opened up that new field. It was probably windshield was probably 28 degrees and we're playing at 9 a.m. And us coaches, <laughs> we were talking and we said, this is going to go really good or really bad. Um, and we went out there and got on them early. Um, they're a very good team. They're a very well coached team. Um, and we, we, we got on them early. We get up 9-0 and then they tried to make a little run at us late and we were able to beat them 9-4. Um, but like I said, they're a very good team. And like I said, that, other than the Blue Springs game, that was a, probably a turning point for us in our season also. Regular season behind you right now. You play on Wednesday in that Class Five District Eight uh, against Van Horn. What what right now do you feel like as a team? You guys are doing really well. Yeah, um, our pitching is it, it's it's 
really been a huge point for us this year. With we have we feel confident in six seven guys that can go out there and throw strikes, um, and they know they go out there throwing with confidence that they got really good defense behind them. Um, like I said, just having those confidence in those arms is huge for them to be able to go out there and know that they have the defense behind them. Um, offensively at the plate, I felt like we've seen some really good arms in the past couple of weeks, and we've really – our approach at the plate has really gotten a lot better, and I like where we are um, offensively swinging the bats and just putting the ball in play and making the defense make plays against us. Again, visiting with Smithville Warriors head baseball coach Josh Spear. And Coach Spear, tell us – uh, a little bit about your background. How long have you been there at Smithville? Where did you go to high school, college, and, and how did you end up at uh, at Smithville? Yeah, um, I graduated from Harrisonville High School um, in 2004, um, played baseball and football there growing up, um, then went to Missouri Southern down in Joplin um, where I played football and baseball my first year, then just played football for the two years after that. Um, Then transferred to uh, Mid-American Nazarene and finished playing two years of college football there. Um, So that's kind of my my college background. I'm out of college. Actually, one of my high school teachers, Taylor Middleton, uh, was up here in Smithville, and I was looking for a job. And he called me and said they had an opening. And 14 years later, um, I'm still here. My my first year, um, I didn't coach baseball. Um, They didn't have an opening on staff. And then the second year, Coach Kane had an opening on his staff. I was his assistant for a few years, and this now is my eighth year as the head baseball coach um, here at Smithville. Outstanding. Well, tell us a little bit of your districts. Uh, where are they where are they going to be played? You got Van Horde. Who's the host? Yeah, Platte County's the host, um, but we're actually playing them at Creekside, uh, which is a ballpark that has six turf uh, high school um, legal fields. So we're able to play multiple games at one time out there so we're not having to play at 11 o'clock in the during the day or anything like that so we're able to um play out there it's a beautiful facility we actually played our leadoff tournament out there um, we usually play five or six games out there throughout the year um so we're lucky to be able to have that facility to use and especially with weather in missouri right now you just never know <laughs> well i tell you it's uh games are getting moved i you know folks are you know, going on at scoreboard guy and say, hey, we're having to move this game from Conway to tomorrow. We're moving this game to tomorrow. And so I know I know the weather's affecting a, a lot of the outcomes. And, you know, fortunately down here in southwest Missouri, and I know you have it as well, there are so many more, you know, turf fields available, at, you know, at the high school level. Uh, so they're, they're going to get these they're going to get these games in. And then obviously with the, the state championships, you know, being right there in Ozark on that facility, yeah. which. I mean, it can rate three inches and you're on the field, you know, <laughs> 10 minutes later. Yeah, yeah, for sure. For sure. Well, yeah. Coach, the good spirit, thank you so much for your time today. Good luck and uh, uh, get a district championship, and, and we'll get you guys back on here next week. All right, I appreciate it. Thanks for all you guys for doing for high school sports. You bet. You bet. You're watching the Missouri Sports Network at MissouriSportsNetwork.com where everyone has a home field advantage. And as always, the Missouri State Highway Patrol reminds us, to take that three seconds and buckle up. It's three seconds that could save your life. Be safe, be smart, and be here tomorrow. Coach Spear, good luck. Hey, thanks. Appreciate it. I believe banking should make your life greater. It starts with affordable options to meet today's needs and tomorrow's dreams. From smart account options that fit your style to flexible loans for what comes next. It means convenient ways to access and manage your money whenever you need it and wherever you're headed. Most of all, it takes great support. Someone you can count on for trusted guidance and to be there for you every step of the way. Great options, great convenience, great support for life. Great Southern Bank, understanding what really matters. Enjoy a fresh start to your meal at Pizza Ranch, where the salad bar is always included with your buffet. Every day, you'll find garden fresh greens, colorful veggies, and sides for every appetite. It's the most refreshing way to balance out a meal while leaving plenty of room for your other buffet favorites. Convenient, fast, and fresh. It's the Pizza Ranch Salad Bar. Mmm, mmm.